The sounds of the Olympic Peninsula are iconic. The wind in the trees, the pounding surf. But on this mossy hike in the Ho Rain Forest. This is why it's a natural sound chamber. It baffles the sound. Rob Smith of the National Parks Conservation Association is searching for the sound of silence. Just listen. It's peace and quiet. Extraordinary peace and quiet. What's a shame is there are very few other places in the United States where you can get it. This is home to the quietest spot in the lower 48. But silence is getting harder to come by, even here. That's thanks to the dull roar of the Navy's growler jets that train here. It feels like you came all this way in order to experience this, and someone else so decided you're not going to have that. Start, and then it starts recording. Two new studies take a listen for the reach of growler noise. Have it all recorded, set up to record. Researcher Lauren Keeney used these recorders to capture sound all over the peninsula. Very fancy. Now she's continuing that work here, closer to the air base on Whidbey Island. We'll record birds, we'll record people talking and traffic and every aircraft that goes by. What she found is striking. 88% of the aircraft noise was military and most of that from growler training. And when growlers are flying, the sound carries for miles around. In some places, loud enough to warrant hearing protection. This is an hour, so that is a really, really loud jet. And in fact, you can see how it's overwhelming the microphones. But I think the bigger finding is we found is the noise is very chronic. It's pretty much every day. It goes on for many hours during the day. A typical resident or visitor can experience about an hour of noise over a six to eight hour period. Another new discovery from this work, a hydrophone at the end of the runway recorded noise 100 feet underwater, raising concerns for animals like the southern residents. I notice in these two studies this idea that the noise from growlers and the impacts of it might be greater than expected and could require further study. What are your thoughts on that? We've seen these studies and we do believe that there are flaws in them. The Navy says it takes issue with some of the conclusions, but it doesn't dispute the data. And it hopes a recent update to the way jets reach the training area will help. We have changed the transit routes to go in and out of the Straits of Juan de Fuca, which does mitigate some of the noise over the national park as we've transited, uh, but also, you know, alleviate noise concerns, hopefully, for some of the community out there. But that will not eliminate noise on the peninsula entirely. I hear that. I mean, it's not the loudest thing, but you sure notice it, right? In this environment, you notice that sound. Back in the Ho Rainforest, we are very near to the famous one square inch of silence, intentionally preserved as a quiet space in an effort to protect miles around it from invasive sound but the founder says that place no longer qualifies as a quiet preserve. It's a blank spot on the map when you look at the air charts, but to three and a half million visitors a year, this is their destination. Which is why Rob and the MPCA are pushing the Navy to explore alternatives. We can do better. We can restore the natural quiet here because the Navy jets have other places they can train. It's important that they, they do that training. But there's only one place like the whole rainforest at the Olympics. Michael Crow, King 5 News.